we have an improved process in Spectra Layers Pro 9, and that is the de-bleed process. We'll take a close look at it, but first, let's review the Pro 8 process just to get some context. Now this is what the de-bleed dialog looks like in Pro 8. As you can see, there is only one available source option. Okay, now look at the new Pro 9 de-bleed process dialog. Here, you can select multiple source layers, or you can select all layers at once. In addition, of course, the new real-time preview button is there, as well as a few presets and the ability to save and recall your own presets. Okay, let's see how it works. Here, I have a short beat segment with kicks, snare, toms, and hi-hat layers active. I'll play it. Okay then, let's solo the kick layer. Next up, snare drum layer. And now the toms layer. And finally, the hi-hat layer, which is picking up a lot of cymbals. Under the process menu, select D-Bleed and the process dialog appears. Now here, you can see that I have three source options instead of just one. Over here in the layers panel, when I select the snare layer as the target layer for deep bleeding, and here I'll solo it, you can see that the options in the dialog box change to conform to the current target. And here I'm selecting the hi-hat layer as the first deep bleed source. Let's preview the process. Now I will add the toms layer and preview that. Let's take a look at how the sensitivity control behaves in this case. With the control dialed all the way down, as you might guess, there's very little processing happening. At a setting of zero, you can definitely hear the process at work. Okay, and back at 1.0, let's review that setting again. The reduction ratio control is like an amount control. I'm going to dial it back by half and then preview it. You can both hear and see that less material is being removed from the target. The ability to explore these parameter settings using dynamic spectral processing is really a spectral layers highlight. And here I can switch modes and preview only that which will be removed. If I wish, I can save this setting as a preset. Okay, now I will apply the process with the default settings, and then we'll listen to everything in context. Here, I'm repeatedly undoing and redoing the process. The snare layer is green, and here you have a good visual representation of the material that was removed from the snare layer during the de-bleed process. And so the result is higher quality de-bleeding, better sounding, faster to perform, more dialed in, and much more efficient than applying the process repeatedly to the same target layer using multiple bleed source layers. The de-bleed process is especially interesting because it's one of those processes that uses source layers as tools for affecting target layers. It's analogous to sidechain processing, but it goes far beyond that. Cross-layer processing is a spectral layer specialty, with utility for both repair operations and sound design work. To see more cross-layer processing in action, check out these imprint process tutorials on the Steinberg YouTube channel.
Thanks for watching this video. Spectra Layers Pro 9 delivers new levels of speed, precision, power, and control. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinbridge channel.